She was screaming as she ran when they opened the door, attempting to come in. Wan bumped him hurriedly, eyes closed in fear. She continued screaming, but it didn't impact him, enough to make him step back. He hesitated to touch her, but finally patted her back with wide eyes. Still, her face isn't visible to him. He couldn't see it even once, but he couldn't push her back, as he was confused at the time. Hey, hey, why are you screaming, girl? At that moment, she realized she was clutching someone's shirt, hiding her face against a chair. She immediately let go of it, but still couldn't see his face. With her eyes closed, she pointed at the bed. Jay tilted his head, shifting his gaze from her to bed, but saw nothing scary there. Jay, there is nothing. One, that mouse is still there. Please get it away from here. I'm scared of it. As she spoke, her hands shook. At that moment, he understood why she was scared. So he held her both of her arms, stopping her trembling hands. It hit differently. Who is that guy? She thought. Jeff, there isn't any mouse. Don't be scared, girl. It's okay. Open your eyes. Upon hearing his sweet voice, she raised her head and looked at his face. Their eyes met, and his grip on her hands tightened when he saw this beautiful girl so close to him. On the other hand, she was looking at a charming guy who liked her husband so similar that it left her frozen for a moment. That's it. They both are looking into each other's eyes, as if forgetting where they were. But it was interrupted by Bella's call. She was arrived hurriedly for wine, but when she saw Tay holding wine's hands, her eyebrows furrowed, as if she had witnessed something she shouldn't have. Wine tried to pull her hands from his grip, but he was still stuck in that moment, unsure if he should let her go. Wine, leave me. She said a bit louder in tension as she tried to take her hands back. He let go of her hands, looking at her without saying anything. As soon as he released her, she ran behind Bella, hiding her face behind her. Seeing all that, Tay couldn't believe his eyes. There is someone who, who is this beautiful? But when he noticed Bella looking at him silently, he snapped out Wine's presence and looked at Bella with a surprised expression on his face. Tay, Bella, who is she? Bella, she is Jungkook's wife. Hearing that, he furrowed his eyebrows, surprised at how Jungkook could get her as his wife so easily. Tay, I can't believe this, Bella. He also walked towards them, about to take a look at Wan. But when Wan's nails stuck into Bella's arm, Bella interrupted his gaze. Bella, Tay, she is getting nervous. Back away. Ha, huh, Bella, what are you saying? No one has been getting nervous around me until now. Hearing this, Wines whispered Bella's name in her ear. Wine Bella. Jay, let's go outside. She is getting nervous, I say. Jay, huh? Bella, you are telling me to go? As if she isn't seeing other girls. It's like I'm some bad guy here. Don't you introduce me to her? Don't I also want to make friends with her? He pointed at her, hinting that he was getting angry, seeing that Bella smiled but controlled it and nodded, admitting to him. Bella. Okay, calm down, Tay. He smiled at her while Bella was holding Wine's hand from behind, guiding her to face Tay. Even though Wine wasn't making eye contact with him, Bella made her stand between them. Tay admired it and she seemed cute like that. Bella, Wine, don't be nervous around him. He is a good guy. Say hi to him. Tay was waiting for her to greet him, but Wine bit her lower lip, showing discomfort. Bella, Wine, at least look at him. By her silence, Tay understood her nervousness. Tay, I think she wasn't comfortable. Maybe I was new to her. Of course, I'm a stranger to her. It's okay. Don't force her, Bella. Hearing his kind, sweet words, she is surprised by the way he understood her. Then she peeked at him from the corner of her eyes with an innocent look, but found him smiling at her calmly. She shifted her gaze from him to the floor again, and he chuckled at her quick reaction. Tay. Bella had checked all around the mansion once and need to talk to the Jonkers to know how much they are doing their work when Jungkook is here and when Jungkook isn't here. Bella smiled at him and he smiled back at her as he walked off. But now Wine opened her mouth finally. Wine, how did he come directly to my room? What if Jungkook knows this? Bella, nothing gonna happen. Whatever Tay does, Jungkook won't get angry. They are both best friends. Oh, but. Bella, 
don't hide tell me what you were about to say one i got scared screamed when i saw a mouse on my back i was running in fear and i bumped into him so i thought what if jango got to this can he be his best friend too then bella remains on and she asked a question and she wasn't sure what replies she could get from boy nervous bella so you both have each other she asked with doubt and boy shook her head bella i know about tay she smiled proudly tay won't take advantage of girls boy so he isn't like jango bella gazed toward boy with filled with a strange and unspoken expression bella in my opinion jango is also not taking advantage of girls boy then what he was been doing with me since he married me said it bella with a serious tone bella that's what i also don't understand but as far as i know janko is wrong only in your case expert for your situation he is gold why didn't appreciate the way bella spoke positively about janko why can you stop praising him bella if you listen to me exactly and do what i am saying you will stop saying why i don't want to hear anything about him anyway you don't know how bad it feels How it would be if your husband handcuffed and beat you mercilessly? I don't know why some guys can't see the real side of him as I have seen him still. She said every word with so much pain in her tone. That's it enough to understand how furious Boyan with Chanko. Bella, I agree with what you said. There is nothing to blame for having this much anger on him at all. But I'll tell you something more about Chanko's story. One, I see. Tell me then. She folded her arms over her chest with an injured tone, but Bella sighed and patted the pain's shoulder. Bella, even if I tell you, you aren't in a good condition to understand the whole story. But I'll tell you when the cut to time comes. She laughed. Fine, whatever it is, I won't change or be melted by anything. But sorry, Bella, I'll escape from this hell for the sake of God. I won't get a better chance to escape when the demon is not here. The next day, beside the graves of his wife and elder son, John sat with tears drying on his cheeks. In his eyes, it seemed as though he had cried roughly twenty steps away. The John family curs lowered their head in silent despair, avoiding eye contact with Mr. John. It was the day when his family had been destroyed years ago. While the situation remained silent with sadness, they all heard a car stop nearby. John didn't raise his head to see, but all the girls paid attention to the car and witnessed the boss son getting out. Also, hung there. All the girls bowed to him respectfully, but Jankov's eyes fixed only on his mom's and his elder brother's graves. His legs moved automatically towards them. His heart shuddered repeatedly at the sight. Who can remain strong and when they loved ones left in the grave, having already left them alone? Jankov's eyes filled with tears as he only allowed his tears and pain near his loved ones while approaching them like a child going to his mom after being away somewhere else. And now he saw his mom. That's where no one knows except his family and his closest friends that Jankov can also feel and that he can also cry. Not only he is a mafia king, but he is also human. If he gets hurt, he can cry just like others. He called out his mom with crying tone, letting his body rest on her grave. Jango hugged his mom's grave, bursting into tears. While John tried to ignore Jango's cry, it was hard not to help him stop his tears. John always maintained a cool behavior with Jango, keeping a distance from his son. John didn't intervene to stop Jango's cry, just as he used in the past. John left Jango, expecting him to cry until his heart found ease from the heaviness of hell and tears. As a father, he refrained from offering comfort and emotional support to Jungkook, avoiding any display of softness. Instead, he treated Jungkook as a man since his childhood, teaching him only rules, fights, and the use of weapons. His dad had decided Jungkook's future since childhood. His dad had mapped out Jungkook's future since childhood, imagining him as a strong mafia king. The fear was that if he showed any softness towards Jungkook, he might not grow into the dangerous mafia king his father pictured. So Jungkook didn't learn to expect attention and love. Instead, he grew used to receiving only tasks and violence, leading a heartless life 
since he turned into this fearless leader. Jungkook was raised to be a harsh man by his father, devoid of his mother's love and having lost his elder brother without the presence of the other siblings. It wasn't a normal life. When he lost his mother and elder brother, his life transferred into ordinary to cruel. One could say that was the last day he experienced love and stopped to be loved by someone. Now Jungkook has a father. That life is also far from normal. Ever since their once beautiful family was ruthlessly destroyed by Kim and his daughter, Jungkook was still holding his mom's grave and crying, hiding his face against her. He held her as if he were truly hugging her in his lap. Suddenly, Han placed a comforting hand on Jungkook's shoulder from behind. Jungkook wiped his tears, took a deep breath, and looked back at Han with sadness. In that moment, Han felt like he was witnessing not a mortal thing. But a child who lost his family and was crying for them after all these years. Han tried to calm down Jungkook. Please put the flowers on your mouth and your brother's grave. He handed two flowers bouquets to Jungkook, nodded and got up. He placed the flower bouquet on his mom's grave, kissing it as if he could feel her presence. Then he placed the second bouquet on his elder brother's grave, holding under the headstone tight. He spoke something softly, emotionally kissing the grave. While he was like in this moment, he heard his dad call him. Jungkook, hiding his wet eyes, turned toward his dad, lowering his head. Jungkook couldn't lower his head for anyone except his dad. We have lost our family, lost of all the colors in our life. We have lost everything except our properties. But what use are properties for the John Murphy King when they are also destroyed by the Kim family? It really hurts here. We still can take revenge on the mad. Jungkook's wet eyes dried with anger when he heard the name name. Swallowing his tears, shutting his eyelids, he looked at his father with burning eyes. Jungkook, Dad, revenge has already begun. I destroyed his daughter's wedding and stained his reputation on the day. I married that wine at the perfect time, just as you wanted. John, but you are still in pain with her. Jungkook, that Kim is still at home. Come and not running, searching for us. Begging for his daughter, and that one who is the reason for the loss of my child and wife is happily staying in our mansion like a queen, isn't she? No, Dad. No. It's new for me to when it comes to a girl. If there was a boy in her place, I would have played so hard in terrible ways. But since she was acting innocent and crying, it made me stop my aggressiveness towards her. Sometimes I feel like maybe she wasn't as I know her. John. Does that mean you have fallen for that girl? Does that mean you can't make Kim cry on his knees in front of me, and can't make that girl's life hell for our family? So you won't want your mom and brother's souls rest in peace till now. Jungkook, no, Dad, I didn't mean that at all. I didn't fall for her. I can't fall for the girl who is the killer of my family members. The reason of my life turned out like this, without having my mom and my brother with me. Then what's bothering you? You stopped going after them forcefully. Why are you letting them lie peacefully here? Jago, that is somehow hard for me to comfort her directly. I want her to reveal her true nature first. That's when I can do anything. But she is too clever at pretending she doesn't belong to cruelty. So I have already prepared myself. I have been mistreating her. Since the marriage, Scarry had so much to force her to reveal her true nature. She is playing the clever character, wearing a mask of innocence. I even beat her when she refused, and I sent the video to Kim, the pleader for me to meet him, begging for his daughter to left alone. I witnessed his struggle, but I never allowed him to meet me even once. Yes, as you told me before, he has to cry, he has to beg, and he has to repay how much he cost for the debt. John, I thought you would change for the fake colors. Jungo, I won't change that. Both of them are the reason I'm living without my mom and brother. Even though I have you, you aren't living with me for this revenge, living separately. So how can I change when they both have had this much impact on my life? John got up with a proud smile, seeing that his son also liked him. Not forgetting his revenge on Kim family, he patted Jungo's head and putting his hand on his back. Asked something that made Jungkook's face go blank with silence. John, did things get physical between you two on your first night? 
Jungkook didn't answer him. John, I asked you something. Jungkook shook his head. Jungkook, no. John, your next attempt is to force her. Jungkook, what do you mean by force? John, are you a child not understanding what I am saying here? Jungkook was looking at his dad with understanding. But he is not accepting somehow. John, ruin her, which can lead to their daughter's destruction. They both will miss and cry for forgiveness. By chance, if she gets pregnant, it would be very easy. She will cry badly for you to be father of her child. The king also won't be able to show his face to relatives. So both commit suicide, which can bring happiness to your mom and brother too. Jungkook, Dad? He started at the question of ruining why. Left speechless just by Jungkook started. His dad grew suspicious and wondering if Jungkook might actually do something. John, you heard it. Say you will do it. Jungkook was silent, unsure of what he was supposed to say to his father. During the time, his mind recalled the image of wine with tears flashing in front of his eyes. Could Jungkook be capable of forcing wine? Could he ruin his wife for revenge? Could Jungkook destroy them in the way his dad was commanding? John, Jungkook said you will do it. Jungkook was still cut in uncountable face of thoughts, pressures of her face making him lose himself. He found himself speechless hearing his dad's words. John, where was your mind lost? He yelled as he slapped Jungkook for the first time, snapping him back to reality, fixing his eyes on his father in disbelief, but hand into wine swiftly trying to control the situation and prevent it from intensifying. Han, sorry uncle for coming back in the boat. He was just not well, and this day has been bad for him too, so we have to leave. He also called us. He pulled Jungkook's hand, but Jungkook didn't move, beating his teeth. Han started liking Jungkook away seriously. 